Hello, Umwasa. Welcome back to my channel, and I want to officially wish you guys a happy new year. Happy new year to all of you, my tiny growing family. And I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you for all of you that have subscribed to my channel and the ones that are yet to subscribe. I want to say thank you for the support. Thank you for how fast my channel is growing and I just want to officially show my face for the first time. I think, okay, no, the second time I have a video of my get to know me or no, actually my first video on YouTube and this is the second time um, sitting down here in person. So, like I was saying, this is my second video of me personally. And I just want to share a quick tutorial on how I get ready in 30 minutes. If you're in a hurry, um, you, you want the easiest way to do your makeup, you newbie when it comes to makeup, just I think this video might help. So let's get into it again. Happy New Year and welcome to 2023. Thank you. Um, I've gone in to apply my moisturizer and use a sunscreen as well. This is the Invisible UV Flawless Primer from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been using this for a while and I think I have to use it more to know if I really like it or not because most um, sunscreen that I use, they always tend to take me off. So um, a client of mine gifted me this and I'll be trying it out. Maybe for another two weeks then I'll give you guys a review on this for like I have to say I have an oily skin and this is a bit oily so I don't know if it's going to work for me because most um, um sunscreen with um that contains oil or that is oily based tend to break me out so I watch this and I'll let you guys know so I've used it for my face already you can see my face is properly moisturized so when I'm going out I tend not to do too much so for today's skin prep I'm just going to be using this then next I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty um, gloves. I've used it already, but let me top it up to apply on my lips. Then today I'm going to be using two foundations. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury foundation in the shade 10. This is warm chart. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know. The warm chart is going to be listed on the description box down below. Then the second foundation I'm going to be using today is my NAS. So I'm going to be using my NAS Radiant Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade Tahoe. So I'm going to put more of this and less of this. So I'm going to get my pan. I'm going to be using the two foundations. So this one, three pumps, and um, um, a pump of my Charlotte. Oh, that was too much. That was too much. That was too much. So next, I'm going to. I hope I just put my shoes back. Like that was too much. I'm going to mix it together in this pan. So let me try it out somewhere. Okay. I think this will work. So I'm using this um, foundation brush from Younger Beauty. I'm going to spread it all over my face.
think some parts where I have spots need a little more coverage. More coverage. More coverage, more coverage, more coverage, more coverage, more coverage. So the next thing I'm going to be using is my concealer. Today I'm going to be using the Nibam Beauty Concealer in the shade 042. So just going to apply it directly under my eyes. So if you notice, I'm using a concealer that is two shade lighter than my skin tone for my highlighting. You can do a shade depending on how much structure you want on your face for today. I want my face to be snatched. So I'm doing two shades lighter. I don't like matte foundations most times. I don't like my face looking dry. It tends to make me look older, although I'm old. Uh, I like that glow, that sheen. So, most times I avoid primers unless it's necessary, unless I'm working on a bright, especially chad. But white weddings, I tend to have avoid primers even if i'm going to apply a primer especially my fine primers i do it on the t-zones i keep the other part of the face um moisturized or uh, moisturized sorry or plumped i just like my makeup not too dry so if you're looking at my skin you will notice that i still have that glow which i love I love. I think I'm because my mic is going to go. So next, I'm going to be applying this on my contour line, which is my cheekbone, my forehead. to be blending this so this blood cosmetic is a cream foundation um how would i say is an oily based foundation i love it for contouring if i'm not using blood cosmetic for contouring I use um, black or power, but most times I prefer to use my dots. It's my go-to contour tool. It blends out really well, trust me. And it helps me with my bridal makeup, if, especially when some of my bride, when they tear. I just go in with my blood cosmetics on that area and 
it solves the problem for me so don't have blood cosmetics try and get one I'm going to be using this new band beauty I think it's a color corrector in the shade 50 I'm going to be using it as my blush today I'm going to see you the same beauty blender so easy to blend that it's like super easy super easy super super easy to blend I love um. Um. In. Let's push it in. Just to make my nose look slimmer. My fat nose. Mm. My fat big nose. The positivity. <laughs> I think I still like my big nose. Mm. Um, setting powder. I'm going to go back and use the Nuban Beauty Concealer to pop my highlight more. So I'm going to swing my beauty blender. I'm going to try and avoid the area where I use for my blush. So now I have to blend out again. Oh, so the remnants from the beauty blend, I'm going to use it on my forehead. So, so I'm going in with my Merak Cosmetics um, setting powder. This is the shade Ginger. If you don't have Mera Cosmetics on your makeup box as a makeup artist, my sister, you're on a long thing. This is by far one of the best beauty, sorry, best setting powder I've used. I've had this product, funny enough, I was gifted this as a PR package and I've had this for over five months and I wasn't even using it because I had other products that I was using. Then I ran out of my um, Laura Messier translucent setting powder and I decided to open this, guys. I don't know if I should call this a dupe for Laura Messier or Laura Messier is a dupe for Merak. That is how good this setting powder is. Just watch how this setting powder blends in. Like, guys, I'm not joking. I'm experimenting and you're going to see this. Like, I'm so proud of this brand. This is not, this is not hype, seriously. So, before you ever apply your setting powder, make sure you go back to your concealer and blend it out one more time before you apply your setting powder so guys look can you 
can you see that? <sighs> Guys, this setting powder is so good. Guys, this is no hype. You cannot afford Laura Messier. Laura Messier, whatever, like, I don't know what it's called. I think it's Laura Messier. You cannot afford it. Please. Get this. You won't regret it. Trust me. Trust me. You would not regret this. I'm not joking. You see how easy it is to blend out this? Like, it is so easy. So easy to blend out. So easy. So easy. Guys, can you see that stainless beam? Like, I don't like baking, actually. For myself, I don't like baking, so... I just try and pressing the powder under my eyes. And that's it. You see? So I'm done with my setting powder. I I'm going to blend all over my face. I'm going to be using my Milani powder. I love this powder. This powder is a deep for Mac. I've been using it for years. It's been working for me. Um, most times I use it with my Dabel Cosmetics um, powder palette. This two powder, I use it on my bride. I use it everywhere. Has never disappointed me sometimes i pair it with my mac msf depending on the look i'm going for depending if i want my makeup to be heavy or i want it as minimal as possible so the powders i use um differs because i use powder depending on what i'm creating the bride's preference my client's preference and all that so i put all this into consideration before Starting any makeup application. So let me go in and look for my Milani powder. So I think this is the shade. My Milani is almost finished. I need to restock. I'm going to take that's my Milani powder and the Tabel Cosmetics. So I'm going to be using this shade from my Dabel to warm up my skin. Put it down my neck. So if you find it difficult to do your brow the first step to you know getting there is always making sure that your brow or your brows are properly groomed like get a good um technician to either carve your brows or you, you thread them depending on what you have uh, um, uh, available at the moment so it helps you like you all you have to do is just follow the line so now I've used my hand to groom my eyebrow. So the first thing I do is to brush it up. Brush it to the shape I want. Although this one is not properly done, but it can serve. So after this, I just follow the line. It helps all the time. Sometimes I don't do the top of my brow if I want it to look natural. Sometimes I do, but today I don't think I'm going to do the top. Let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to trace the line. I'm 
don't know. Then we stroke the up. You get to the edge, you join the line. Stroke, stroke. Okay. Still stroke more. Okay. Stroke, stroke. I think that's about it with this one. Then I will repeat the same process. Just chase it first. Stroke take the tip. It's always easier if you're growing your brow, it gets really easy. Just fill in the spaces where there's no hair, avoid the places where you have hair already, so that you can get that natural finish. Okay, you see, that was easy. I can do light brow. So I'm just going to trace the line. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my got to be gel and dip my spoolie. Then I'll use sand tape. Oops. Take the brows up. Same way here. What I do next, if I'm in a hurry, is I just dip my that same brush into my darkest powder and I just brush it on the lid of my eyes. This look is so chic. Very simple, easy and chic. If you want to take it up a notch, yes, I can just dip into this pink and the palette, dust it off. Then I can use it to blend out my crease. See? Do the same here. Blend out my crease. Mm. 
next i'm going to use my mascara in this mascara from zaron cosmetics so i'm going to get it inside and brush it out That's it with mascara. I don't know why my ear is itching me, like it's itching me so bad, so bad. Ugh. So next, I'm going to be using my lashes. I'm going to do that off camera because since I still find it very difficult to wear my lashes, so I'm not going to bore you guys with the struggles. I'm going to do it off camera, and then I'll come back and finish the look. Mwah. I finally, I think I finally got the lashes. Not bad. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up this look and. Then I'm going to be using my brand. This is in the shade Juicy. This is one brand as a sort official of beauty lip gloss, luxury lip gloss. So this is the shade Juicy. I'm going to go in with this um, Fenty Mini. This is hot chocolate. I'm going to apply it on the place I lined. Then I'm going to use Fenty Chicken. On top of this, yeah. hmm, I see the combo too nice. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my powder to blend my whole face, my whole face. I always use this TM Essential Body Glaze and this is in the shade Glean. I use it and go back to my contour lines. So. Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade 2. 
easy tan brighten up my under eye you can use any light powder for this it mustn't be shallot so you can use any light powder dust off That using the blush from my Dabel Cosmetics powder, so you brush it up. Uh, and brush out my under eyelashes most times i don't apply liner under of my eyes i prefer the unserious look okay Mm -hmm. here I'm not lining my eyes today I don't want to line into the side just up, 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 up. taking a lot taking a whole lot into the remnants here and to use a smaller pair put here his beauty spray So this is the finished look guys. Oh just a few Irish lip. So this is the finished look guys. Um if you're in a hurry, you're going to a wedding, a function, hanging out with your friends and you need like a 30 minutes quick makeup tutorial you don't need to wear eyeshadows all the time just this will help this will work you can wear this anywhere i can even wear this like for my wedding i think this is the kind of look i would want i don't want anything overpowering i want to look like myself so i think you guys will be seeing my face more on this channel if there's any look you want me to create just Let's talk on the comment section if there's any makeup look that you want or you seen and you want us to recreate. You can actually send me a message and we could do that. Um, next video, I'm going to be showing you guys um, the lights I use, most especially the one single light I always use all the time for my bridal makeup, for my studio glam. I'm going to be showing it in my next video because I don't have two phones, so it's like very difficult for me to, you know, shoot with this um, phone and like showing some of the things I, I use. But I'm going to try as much as possible to be able to do that in my next video. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for 
Innovate part of my channel for helping me grow this channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And please do not forget to always click on the share button, like, give us a thumbs up, and you know, if you're a new subscriber, do not leave my channel without subscribing. Click on the subscribe button. See you in my next video. Bye.